Welcome to It's Your Life. I'm your host, Joyce Wheeler. This is a production of the Natural Bliss Podcast. I am a natural living speaker, researcher, podcaster, and I have been living a natural lifestyle since 2012. I meditate on a weekly basis and received a message from one of my guides. I am here to talk to you about raising our energy, vibration, and frequency, and how important that is during the times that we live in. You see, the reason for that is because the darkness cannot live in light. And as light beings, spiritual beings, it is our responsibility to make sure that the powers that be cannot go ahead with the plans that they have for the people of this planet during this time. We have the 1% that are running the whole world. And I believe that they are behind the spirit demic. The, you might call them an elite, the Illuminati, whatever you refer to them. They are a group of very greedy and very evil people. Why they do what they do, I have no idea considering they have more money than they ever know what to do with. As a matter of fact, speaking of money, I've thought to myself, how did these people get all these leaders and people of government officials from all over the world to play into this fear demic. Why would they do it? Here's my thoughts. Money, they paid them. They threatened them. Or they're blackmailing them. Or maybe a combination of one or more of all three of those things. I believe right now that the 1% is running in fear because so many people are waking up to what they are doing, who they are, and the evilness that they want to place upon us at this time. They tell us they keep us stuck in religion. They tell us that certain things are evil, they're demonic. Like crystals is a great thing. When I first got into the church, I was told that they were new age and they were evil and I went home and I got rid of all of them. Since then, I have replaced them and have even more than I had before. And let's stick on the topic of religion. Although I was never religious, I've always been spiritual. I just want to say real quick, I'm winging this. I have no script, so please bear with me. But I did spend a lot of time in the church. And in the Old Testament, God himself said, you are all gods. Okay, what did he mean by that? He meant that we have the power through our vibrational frequency to do things similar to what he does. Jesus in the New Testament told his disciples, you can do all this and more. What did he mean by that? I had watched a video called the true teachings of Jesus. And it was really good video. I'll link it below so you can see it. But the one thing that really stood out in that was that during the time when he was not mentioned in the Bible, that it is thought that he was always teaching with the yogis, that he was learning from the yogis in various parts of the world. And what made the most sense to me due to my big interest in energy, in us being energy, everything being energy, and our natural vibrational frequency, was when Jesus walked on the water, is it just possible that he matched his natural vibrational frequency to that of the water? Is that why he told his disciples, you can do this and all, you can do all this and more? Because he knew that we were all energy and that we have this vibrational frequency. And it's, it's been stifled. We're not told about it. I mean, think about it. They can't do an EKG if we didn't have energy, electricity, a vibration of frequency running through our body. That's what we are. We have electrical impulses that run from our brain throughout our body to tell our fingers to move, our heads to move. So it's important during this time that we raise our vibration of frequency. Now the 1% know all this, and they also know that they can stifle it through fluoride in the water for putting garbage in the food supply, like genetically modified organisms, and saying, oh, it's the same thing. No, it's not. It is not the same thing. It's totally different from crossbreeding 
when you create something in the laboratory, that's not real. Okay, that's synthetic. The news, okay, the, the, the 1%, they own the media. They own the mainstream media that spews out this propaganda, all this false garbage, and then they say that other things, other sources of news are false. No, they're the false news. They spew out what the 1% tells them to. That's why there's some newscasters who have left because they wanted to report the news the way they wanted to report it and were told no. So they left or were fired. Some have even been killed. A person needs to hear something seven times before they believe it. That is why the 1% makes sure that on every news channel you watch, stage, news station you listen to, everything that you read that has to do with mainstream media that they own, that they're spewing the same thing. And you'll hear it over and over and over again until you believe it. Okay. I don't fall for it. I don't watch mainstream media. So let's talk about the natural vibrational frequency, which is what this video is all about. Again, we're, we're, everything is energy. We're energy. And we are not one. We all, all are all interconnected. Greg Braden did a video where he was talking about that NASA has a satellite light up in space. Excuse me. And it's just black. There's nothing there. It's just black. And they've been monitoring the space. Well, they saw that during 9-11, there was activity in this space. They saw it again at Christmas time. And they had realized that the reason they were seeing activity, because everybody on Earth was feeling similar emotions. Okay, if we're that powerful and we can go ahead and take all of our emotions like love and gratitude and throw them up into the universe, we can make a difference. Our vibrational frequency pulled together, we can, we can defeat these people. We can get them out of our lives so that we could have the lives that we were created to live. So how can you tell if your vibrational frequency is low? <laughs> There's various things. Maybe you're accident prone. You attract, you attract the wrong people into your life very negative people, you know, people who don't appreciate you, if that be, be, means a friends or a partner. Family doesn't count because we're born into that, but some are very negative even in the family, and I know for some it's hard to get away from. Fortunately for me, it was not, uh, especially with both my parents being passed on. It was easy for me to detach myself from my two siblings and just be like, you know what, I don't need this negativity. I don't want it. So we have that we attracting negative people in our life, thinking negative thoughts. If you're sitting there, and I hear this all the time, and I'm like, what are you saying? Because our words are very powerful. But people going, oh, they're, they're going to get a vaccine. We're all going to have to be vaccinated. Don't speak those words. Deny them. Say, no, everybody's not going to have to receive a vaccine. Everybody is not going to have to be vaccinated. We have to say no. We have to say, I don't allow this. I deny this. And we have to do it as a collective. The more of us who are saying no, the more the universe says, you know what? They all said no. Millions of people said no. You can't do this. So you know what? You can't do that. So we also have um, depression is a sign that your vibrational frequency is low. Of course, if you're eating non-organic foods, your vibration of frequency is going to be low. Being accident prone, I think I said that. Depression, anxiety, anything that's negative, self-doubt, sabotaging yourself, thinking negative thoughts about yourself. Think of negative thoughts about other. Anything that is negative is going to bring your vibration of frequency down. All right, that includes drugs, smoking, drinking. I know that, you know, drinking is kind of pleasurable. Maybe some people like enjoy having a cigarette. You know, are those bad things? Not necessarily. 
drugs can be bad things. Even alcohol can, can be bad. Cigarettes can be bad as far as being an addiction. But we have to learn to control that and not depend upon that for any kind of happiness or gratitude. That's another one. If we're not, if you can't see the beauty in this world, if you can't see the good people in this world, then your negative energy is low. Stress lowers the lowers the, your vibration of frequency, and the elite know that. And that's another reason for this pandemic. Okay, we're going to keep you in stress. Do you know that stress causes your immune system to shut down? How important is the immune system to fight off anything that any kind of invader in the body? Now, first off, we need bacteria and germs. Our, our bodies, we have more bacteria in and on our bodies than we do human cells. That's 80% of the immune system is located in the gut, and that's where the good, good bacteria is and the bad gut bacteria is. One round of antibiotics destroys the entire gut microbiome, our immune system, for two years. Okay, The pharmaceutical industry is destroying people by putting them on these drugs because a lot of these pharmaceutical drugs, they have a purpose, yes, a place and a time for a limited amount of time. Then find out what, why, what is the body crying out for? What is the body saying it's stressed? We're, what do we have to do to fix it? It can be fixed. They say, oh, there's no cure for this and there's no cure for that. No, that's not true. If you find out what the body needs, it can be fixed. Find out what the problem is. And I know because I've seen it. I've seen people do this time and time again. It can be done. They say there's no hope. Oh, of course they're going to say there's no hope because they want to keep you coming back to the doctor, keep you on the pharmaceutical drugs. That's a billion dollar industry. You think they want to go broke? You think they want to find a cure for cancer? No, they don't want to find a cure for cancer. There's ways you can pre prevent cancer. There's natural ways of dealing with cancer. I've seen it over and over again. Does the mainstream media talk about it? No. Why? Because they can't make money. Keeping us sick, they make money. So let's go ahead, create this pandemic, put all these people in stress, shut down their immune system. Oh, and then let's go ahead and tell them to wear a face mask. That doesn't do jack diddly nothing. A virus is so small, it can get through that mask. All it does is hinder the oxygen flow into the body, which again is compromising the, the immune system. And some people, it's causing them anxiety because they can't freaking breathe. And again, that's putting stress on the immune system. They know this, the hand sanitizer. That's crazy, especially if you're not using something that's organic, you're depleting your gut microbiome, which is 80% again of the immune system. So yeah, of course we're gonna have another outbreak especially since it's, it's cold and flu season. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. Hello? You know, and let's talk about the flu. How come it, what, during the flu, with all these people who die from the flu, people who are vaccinated for the flu land up in the hospital? There's, there, there, was, there was never anything on the news about that. And if this pandemic, this fear-demic is so bad, how come there's not biohazard garbage cans outside of stores where you put your, your mask in because that's how bad it is? Okay, think about this. Let's be logical. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. And we need bacteria and viruses to build the, up the immune system, to build up that gut microbiome. Without it, <laughs> we don't have an immune system. So we're going to lock all these people away have them using hand sanitizer, or cleaning the heck out of their house. And then we're going to let them out and they're going to get sick. But yeah, of course. Go out, mingle with people, shake people's hands, freaking give them a hug. Not only do we need that interaction, but we need to be exposed to the viruses and bacteria. Now, I understand some people have underlying health issues, and those are the ones who are getting the virus who are actually dying. But it's not because of the virus. It's because of the underlying health condition, and the virus just compromised it, the immune system even further. Okay? So back to our vibrational frequency. So how could we raise that? There are various things we could do to raise it. To speak positive. Don't speak negative. Don't fall for negative talk. Somebody starts talking negative, you know, I'm gone. 
I don't want to hear it. I won't be a part of it. Turn off mainstream media. Eat organic food. Eat grass-fed beef. You know, those animals that are raised in the factory farms that are sold in stores that are not organic, they are stressed out. I have been through Texas. I have seen the factory farms for the cows, and it's sickening. I told my husband, I said, let's go back there tonight. Let's go free them all. <laughs> We're still thinking. But when they're under that stress, that goes into the meat, and you're getting that animal's vibrational frequency. Not only that, but a lot of them, I mean, the way they slaughter them isn't even humane. And again, it's causing stress, and that stress hormone is going into the meat, and then you're ingesting that, and that's going into you. Free-range eggs, you know. Want to make sure that that one want to make sure that our chickens are out there for free range, that they're not stressed because they're walking around in an inch and a half of their own feces, that their beaks are being cut off, that they have no room to walk. If you haven't seen a factory farm, I encourage you to take a look at it at it at a video to see exactly the food. If you're not eating free range, you're not eating grass fed or, or uh, free range eggs, grass fed beef, please. Go watch a video and see where your food is coming from and what these people are doing. It's not pretty. Not pretty at all. So there's that. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's meditation. Meditation will help to raise your vibrational frequency. There are, are a lot of guided meditations that are on YouTube that you can go to, which will help to raise your vibrational frequency. Ask Angels has some on there. I'll, I'll link to to her page and the Greg Braden video that I was talking about I will also go ahead and link that video so if you want to go ahead and check that out uh, cleansing the chakras again there are various meditations on YouTube guided meditations for clearing the chakras I also on natural bliss podcast YouTube channel I did a whole series on cleansing the chakras and how to make sure that we're maintaining them properly because those are our energy portals. It's very important to keep those clear. And now the, our vibrational frequency should be between, and I might not be exactly right on this, but it's something like 69 and 72. So once it gets down to, let's say 59, we're susceptible for colds and flus. Once it gets down to 25, we're dying. So it's very important for us to keep up our vibrational frequency, not just so that we can help our planet to be what it was created to be and have the lives we were created to live, but for our own health too. It's very important. Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga. Go take a walk in nature. Take a walk in the woods. Just go sit down by a body of water walk barefoot on the earth, walk barefoot on on the sand, stick your feet in a, a, a water, a brook, and get those negative ions that are so important for us and that energy. And best off if you could do it after a lightning storm because then the, the, the ground and environment is very heavily charged at that point in time. You know, just sit out in a storm, uh, not in it per se, but like if you have, like I have an enclosed patio so I can go sit outside during a storm and I can get that energy from the wind and from the rain and from the lightning. So you could do that. Listen to positive music, watch positive shows because that's another thing too that I bring your vibration of frequency down. If you're watching shows that cause your adrenaline to start going, that's putting your body in stress. And again, that's going to go ahead and shut down the immune system. So that's something else that we want to be, be aware of is what are we watching? What are we listening to? What kind of music are we listening to? Is it negative or is it positive? Even, I mean, sometimes I'll just go ahead and like and put on meditation music while I'm working, you know, find something that you like. There's all kinds of you could get sounds of nature. You can get calming music. So that's great to listen to. Just, we have to be more conscious of the things that we're saying, the things that we're listening to, and you know what we're allowing into our lives and being more aware of how we're affecting our natural vibrational frequency. Crystals. Crystals is another one. You know, there's, there's so many great crystals out there. And 
they're 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 not bad. You cannot use a crystal for bad. You can't. You just can't. The only bad that would come from it is if you if it has uh, crystal quartz, clear quartz. It's great for absorbing negative energy, but it's not self-cleaning like cyanite, which also absorbs negative energy. So you have to cleanse that quartz crystal by using sage or that's like the best thing. That's my preference. There are other methods. And I even talk about them in the videos that I had mentioned. Well, actually it was before the chakra one. There's a crystal video I have. I'll leave the links below for you. But you have to make sure you, you cleanse the, the crystals. So that harness negative energy. Not all of them do, but quartz crystal is like the one that really hangs onto that negative energy. And I mean, maybe somebody who of empath or somebody who's sensitive to energy, if they were to pick that crystal up, they'd feel the negative energy, but nothing bad's going to happen to them. You can't program a crystal to do bad. That's not what they were created for. And let's say crystals come from the earth. You know, for those of you who are into the Bible, God created the earth. So it's sad. If you want to look at that from, from that perspective of, you know, looking at the Bible, looking at God, okay, God created the earth, so it says, then that means, and he made everything. If he made everything, why would he make crystals? Why would he make something that was evil? Think about that. I believe that the church is a place of control and they tell us things so that they can, and I think that's part of the 1% too. You know, let's create these places where we can keep these people docile. You know, it's about keeping us all separated. As long as it can keep us separated and keep us docile, they have control. We have to stop separating ourselves because of our differences or because what mainstream media is putting out. And that's something else they do. They, they pit us against each other. You know, let's start thinking for ourselves. Let's be logical about this stuff. And let's really think about what they're doing, what they are showing you and why they're showing you. It's to keep us separate because there's more of us than there is of them. And they know that if we come together as a collective, that we've got them beat and they don't want that. Well, it's time to put differences aside, people. It's time to come together as a collective and put an end to this. No more with the 1%, the Illuminati, the elite. Their reign is done. We as a collective are going to raise our vibration of frequencies. We're going to meditate. We're going to eat clean food. We're going to take good care of our bodies. And for those out there of you saying that organic's more expensive, yeah, it is. But let me tell you something. You're going to eat less. You're going to eat less because your body's actually getting the nutrients it needs. There's people out there who are going, well, I just ate it. Why am I still hungry? Because your body is not getting the nutrients and vitamins that it needs from that junk that they call food. Because it's not food. It's, it's dead. It's not alive. You need to eat the good food that is alive. And you will see that you your body will be full. It will be satisfied. Although I would suggest you use supplements too. Because the earth has been so depleted that we're not getting all the nutrients we need. But... That's for another time. Um, I've got a checklist that I can, I can't link it here, but I can put, it's up on my website at hborganicskincare.com. And you can go there and you could go ahead and, and download the PDF. And it's just a checklist of things that you could do to have a better quality of life naturally. But all those things are gonna also help to raise your vibrational frequency you know, putting plants in your house, especially plants that are going to clean your air. You know, it's we have a lot to do, and it can seem overwhelming, but it's all about baby steps. It's about doing something instead of doing nothing, saying, oh, this is too much, I can't do this. I don't expect you to go do it right away. I didn't do this all right away. It took me two years to get this life where I'm, I'm, I am right now with eating or, or all organic, having organic cleaning products. And then that's something else. Again, anything that is not pure, that is not of the earth, that it, you are ingesting, anything you put into onto your skin absorbs into your bloodstream within 26 seconds. There are a lot of chemicals 
and cleaning products and beauty care products that are toxic. They cause cancer, they suppress the immune system, they suppress the reproductive system. Let's see what else. Oh, the, the nervous system. Did I say that? The nervous system. So th those things aren't doing you any good. They're doing you more harm. So you can stay stuck and say, I can't do this. Risk your health. Take time off of work to have to go to the doctor and sit there for freaking four hours. Pay, if, pay for a babysitter. Okay, what's going to be cheaper? Or what's going to be better in the long run for your health? So that you, know, you have to do something. You have to start somewhere. I don't care if you go to the store and you buy one organic product every time you go to the store. It's a step. I don't care if you decide to make one organic meal once a week. It's a step. I don't care if you decide to go, okay, well, I'm going to buy, you know, I got all these crystals. This is overwhelming, but I'm going to buy one. Get one. Which one would I recommend? It's actually not a crystal. It's a mineral. Shungite. This is a murky ball. It's a sacred geometry. Again, raise the vibration of frequency through, through sacred geometry. And I sell these on hborganicskincare.com. I also sell other Shungite products, too. But this is not only going to help to raise your vibrational frequency. You can go ahead and set it on your laptop. And it's going to help protect you against the electromagnetic field, which also lowers the natural vibrational frequency. All this synthetic electricity we're being bombarded by is bringing our natural vibrational frequency down. The cells in our body should be going clockwise. But because of all the EMFs, they're going clockwise counterclockwise. So what the sun guide is going to do is it's going to turn it back around so that they go clockwise again. Sun guide is also contains quartz crystal, which is like one of the best crystals you can have because not only does it absorb negative energy, it also enhances the energy properties of whatever other crystal it's connected with. In this case, a mineral also contains some pyrite. Pyrite is something else that helps to protect you against the electromagnetic field. So this little baby is like a like a bomb. Again, you don't have to get the mercury ball. And I don't recommend it because it is one of the most expensive ones. We have tiny pyramids that go for like six bucks. So you start there. I make Shungite bracelets. Those are $10. The, um, the wire wrapped raw, I make those too. There's none on the website right now with the necklaces. But I can go ahead. There, oh, wait, there is. I've got pendants that I'm selling on uh, the necklaces, and you can get those there. But this is going to help to raise your vibrational frequency, and it's going to help your body to prevent. Pre it's not going to prevent the electromagnetic field, but it's going to. Sh it's a shield, so it's going to break it down. My husband has a Geiger counter, and we do this thing where. We have, um, I want to say malachite, it's not malachite. Oh, I forget what it is. It's, it's used for making countertops. Mica. Sorry, I thought there was somebody there. It's called, it's mica, and it's actually radioactive. So what we do, excuse me, to show people how the Shungite shields you from the EMFs, radioactive, we take the mica, and my husband takes the Geiger counter, which radio, which measures radioactivity, puts it on there, lets it go up. Then he takes a piece of shungite, put, puts it on top of that, and redoes it again so they could see how it actually does bring it down. And I've been trying to get him to do a video, but he needs a script. I'm like, forget the script, just talk. <laughs> and he's like, no, no. But anyway, so shungite's also in the carbon family. And it's used to purify water. So that's something else. I sell nuggets in a bag that you can buy that you can go ahead and put into your, your water. I have directions on the website all about Shungite. tells how, how to, to use it. So I think the shapes are pretty cool, like the Merkaba and uh, the pyramids. Because if you wanted to put it like by your Wi-Fi or something, it's like a decorative piece. So it looks cool. Plus, not like that's a conversation starter. So, but anyways, um, so there's that. They're using various crystals 
programming your water. Water can be programmed. Dr. Emoto did a lot of research with that. I can, I'll put that link down below too. So if you haven't seen Dr. Emoto's work with the water and how it can be programmed, you got to check that out. So you can say something. I speak it while I'm filling up my, my, my cup. You know, say something like, I'm thankful that I'm strong and healthy. And I keep saying that until the cup is full. I place it outside on my patio on the table and I cover it with paper towel. And this whole time I'm going through this process, I'm saying this out loud over and over again. You don't have to, you can think it. Water is programmed through our thoughts, our emotions, and our words. So Dr. Emoto had taken two cups of water and he had two labels on them. One was love and the other one was the opposite. And every time that his workers would walk past these two cups, they would think or they would say something that aligned with love. I, I, I love you or something the opposite. And what he found was he froze the water. Once he froze the water, he found that the one that had more positive words and thoughts geared towards it created these beautiful crystals in, within the water, like snowflakes. And the one that was the opposite looked like a blob of something, I don't know, but it, it, it did not turn out these beautiful crystals. So that's something else you could do. Laugh, dance, sing. Gratitude, love and gratitude are the, the two highest vibrational frequency feelings that we can put out on the, in the universe. And we all have something to be grateful for, something. I, you could be in the worst situation, but I guarantee you, you can find something to be grateful for. We all can. And that's another thing, you know, we've all been put here at this time and place for a purpose and a reason. We all have a purpose here. We have a reason here. Some of us might not know what it is, but know that one thing, you can help to stop these evil people and we could do it together by raising our vibrational frequency. Let's be kind to one another. Let's show love, gratitude. Sorry, didn't all get emotional. <clears throat> Something has to be done. And I'm calling on everyone who watches this to please pay attention to your vibrational frequency. Talk to others, get, get gathered with others who also understand how important this is and let's make a difference. Oh, geez. <clears throat> okay. Well, if you have any questions, maybe there's something that you think of that I didn't touch on, you can go ahead and leave me a comment and I will go ahead and answer. Um, once again, I was just winging this. My guide very much so encouraged me to put this message out about how important our vibrational frequency is at this point in time in history and how we need to come together as a collective if we are going to beat this. And I know there's a lot of people out there who, who don't want this, who are scared. We could do something. We could beat this pandemic. Let's do it together. So this has been Joyce Wheeler with It's Your Life. And enjoy the rest of your day.